Here we are at National Pavement Expo 2017, and uh, this is a well-known person in the industry, that's certain. It's Scott Sarosky of uh, Croman Forster Insurance Specialist, and uh, Scott wants to give us just a brief uh, reminder about something to remember if you sweep things like college football stadiums and uh, uh, professional stadiums and any place else that this particular problem might occur. So uh, talk about it. You, you said you had a customer that had three hot yeah. fires in a, yeah. in a year. Yeah, Range. One of the things providing an insurance program for the pavement maintenance community for, and in particular, the power sweeping community for the better part of 30 years now, um, we've been able to track losses specific to um, all the lines of insurance, auto, general liability, and the like. Um, there's a period of time on the auto side that we started to see trends uh, more specifically with fires, with hopper fires for, um, in litter sweepers. And so when drilling down on where these fires or how the fires were, were or what caused the fires, we started to get to the specific accounts that were suffering these losses. And then we needed to know where the services were being performed and then what um, risk hazards may have um, contributed uh, to causing the fires. Traditionally, you may have hydraulic lines that break, get on the muffler, other things that cause fires and sweepers. However, these were more specific and were were, um, were becoming a regular um, situation, which we needed to um, see if we could put a stop to it and, and also help the insured. Um, so the commonality we found was that um, this one insured was uh, providing sweeping services to a professional football stadium. And in doing so, one of the things that obviously happens at, at stadiums prior to game time are tailgate parties. And a lot of that uh, cooking is done with charcoal as opposed to gas. And the charcoal, in some cases, was being left in the parking lots. And then the power sweepers would come in, provide their service. They have a hopper full of litter. And next thing you know, they're picking up hot coals and hence hopper fires. So we, part of our risk engineering services um, and, and loss control program was to get the message out that to make sure that the drivers are cognizant of any coals or anything like that that could ignite a hopper um, once collected up into it. Um, and even on the way through, in some cases, if they got trapped in the vac system or in the broom system with other little debris, that would cause external fires. So we, um, we assisted this insured, which then they were able to implement a, a program within their companies to go out and pre-check these sites prior to providing the sweep service and then um, w with obviously the, the results not picking up the, the, uh, the coals. Mm -hmm. But this also then we found would transcend itself into any sweeping company that was providing these services in parks. Um, any recreational um, area where there could be potential for uh, coal deposits, um, hot coals, um, uh, to ignite these uh, sweepers. So we uh, address that concern and we don't see now, luckily, as much um, of this type of uh, claim situation. Well, true. Prevention, uh, just another example of how prevention and using someone knowledgeable in the industry uh, can sure make a difference. Let me take a shot of your badge since we're here at uh, Pavement Expo. And uh, that way, and, and how would somebody get hold of you if they wanted an insurance quote or some other Well, the, the information. beauty part about our program, it's always been, is uh, we recognize that the local service um, being provided by uh, the, the local agent that has been servicing the account for all the years that they have is critical. Um, to sustainability and, and continuity for your customers. So in recognizing that, we're the insurance company, so we work with your local agent um, to provide our program uh, and services um, through the, the, the local agent relationships. Mm -hmm. And that seems to um, sure. work out well so for, you do, for all in, parties. In a typical contact situation for Crum and Forster, what happens is uh, your, your agent calls and, uh, yeah, they bring can... bring your information. Our information is found on our website, which is uh, www.crumandfosterinsurance.com, uh, uh, and you can click on there and go to Pavement Maintenance Insurance Program, and all the information is in there on how to contact us. 
We attend National Pavement Expo every year in addition to World of Asphalt. Uh, we have a booth. So we have all the information you can bring back to your agent um, for them to contact us on your behalf. Okay, and what's your phone number? My phone number is 914-714-0787. All right, thanks a lot, Scott. Thanks, Randy. Great, Great information. Thank you.